Well, here we are back in Kingston. Summer has certainly arrived. It's been very hot this week. Quite a lot going on. So without any ado, as we head into the long weekend for May 2-4 or Victoria Day, let's look at the update. I thought we'd begin this particular update by looking at how far we've come in the last year. This is the scene last May. And this is where we stand in May 2021. Moving right along, the delivery of concrete girders has continued and at the end of the period we were up to a total of 55, that's 11 whole sections. Once the cranes are in place, it's time to unshackle the girders. Then the girders can be carefully lifted before the trailer is removed. The crane operators at either end of the beam have this down to a fine art now, and it's not long before the beams are being lowered into place. All that remains then, and its importance can't be overstated, is to ensure the accurate placement of each beam end. A sweeping look back along the concrete girders shows how far we've come with the laying of the concrete slabs on top. It's worth noting too the increasing presence of walkways on either side of the beams. This overhead shot running back from basically the middle of the river gives you an idea of how very far we've come. And note too that 11 of 17 total concrete sections has already been completed. The other thing that might catch the viewer's eye is how much weed has already grown up around the bridge in the shallow waters that surround it. Work has continued on the piers that will support the concrete girders leading up to 17. This involves the placement of rebar and eventually the delivery of concrete. For the main pier caps, the concrete is poured using a, a pumper truck, as we saw last week. But when it comes to constructing the pedestals that the girders will actually rest upon, then it's a hopper. This is concrete going in for the pedestals on Pier 14. And these shots show concrete being poured using the hopper on Pier 17, the last that will support concrete girders. Viewers with keen eyesight might have noticed in that last shot a major steel section sitting beside the concrete truck. Four steel sections have gone in this week. This was the first or what we've come to know affectionately as the hockey sticks. I hope you can see why. And here we see the second of the two hockey sticks installed on the same day. Joining these two in the period and physically attached to them were the two large steel pieces that were delivered last week the wide loads. These moved down in the middle of the week using the lift bridge which had been temporarily lowered to accommodate them. After a period of preparation during which they are raised from the trailer then lifted to the vertical they're ready to be lifted into place. The work of placing each steel section is not straightforward. It involves many changes of angle and of height And of course it's critical that you avoid existing portions of the steel structure while moving the massive beam. But invariably, without fuss or excitement, the moment comes when the beams can be lowered into place and secured. Before the second major web beam could be installed, quite a bit of preparatory work took place, including the installation of support struts below the fingers that were placed last week at the lookout point.
Eventually, on Friday, it was time to install the second of the two major web pieces. The light betrays the fact that this was a very early start. Because it was the outside beam, it had to be lifted in a particular manner to pass the one already in place. Then it was necessary to turn it before lowering it into its final position. The beam actually had to pass the position in which it would rest before being returned and lowered into place. The final movements are exquisitely slow while an iron worker ensures that placement is absolutely precise. Just as much care goes into ensuring accuracy at the other, free end. You know things have gone well when you get a thumbs up from the team. Elsewhere on the construction site, in an encouraging sign that things may be beginning to move around Pier 12 and Pier 13, gravel excavation was taking place. There's considerable speculation about the reason why piers 12 and 16 are lagging behind all the others in terms of preparation. And there's a theory that this may be an adjustment point on the, uh, on the project. If anyone watching this video can give us a definitive answer, it would be appreciated. There was one event this week that I think surprised all of us. It takes a lot to disrupt a project of this scale. When a bird decides to nest on your crane, that can be an issue. When horn blasts failed, the only alternative was to lower the jib and have somebody in a lift remove the debris. There's actually quite a lot of wildlife around the area. We have ducklings, goslings, the odd snake, and fish in the process of spawning. And I shouldn't forget our local swans. Quite a lot of people are taking advantage of the fine weather to get out, enjoy the river, and perhaps to look at the bridge. And who can blame them? Well, I think you'll agree, that was a pretty busy period, and it's going to get even busier. There are three steel shipments due in the next week, and if you want to be sure of catching updates and keeping up to date, subscribe, like, and click the bell. Thanks for watching.